Okay guys, I hope you're well. I just thought I'd uh, share this video with you. Um, the cylinder head gasket, we believe in our um, Freelander, has a leak. Uh, so we're going to try and use Radweld uh, Total Coolant Leak Repair. Um, what we've got here is a 250ml bottle of Holtz Radweld. And we've got here um, just a 2 litre bottle of uh, 3 part water or 1 part coolant. Um, so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically talk you through the process. Um, we're going to try it out on my Freelander and then hopefully we'll see if it works or not. Um, I've heard good reviews on it so I am hopeful but uh, I can't guarantee it. Right, so the first step we've got to do is, um, well we've, it's, uh, what does it say, engine off and cool which ours is, uh, remove radiator uh, cap and then shake bottle, add this to the, uh, the reservoir then top up with the coolant. Uh, so we'll do that. Then we need to run the engine for 15 to 25 minutes with the heater on. So we'll do that. And then with engine off and cool, verify system is full and top of if needed. So um, we need to wait till the engine's cool and check the uh, the expansion tank just to see if uh, the tank is still full. So we'll go out and do that now. Okay, this is our Freelander. This is the expansion tank. So we'll open that. Incidentally, the leak was coming sort of from down there. I'm not sure if you can see some spots of water there. So we'll put the rad weld in there and then the uh, coolant. That's the rad weld in. Now the coolant. See the expansion tank is pretty full there. Now I'll just put the cap on. Make sure it's tight and then we can start the engine. Okay, so we're in the car now. We've just started the engine. Um, we're going to leave that to run for 15 20 minutes and then hopefully the leak will stop. Um, We'll come back and check it out. Okay, so we've been running now for about um, just under 15 minutes, about 13 minutes. The temperature gauge has sort of slowly gone up to halfway, whereas normally it would go up pretty quickly. But I'm just going to go around and check the engine now. Unfortunately, as you might have saw, there's quite a lot of water coming out of the engine. Probably not so visible. Um, but it did not work. 